when one is creating tables between two entities that have both a one-to-many, one-to-one, and recursive relationships, here is the way one should do so. Please notice that we're creating the department table first because department name, that's a primary key in department, is going to be a foreign key in employee. And we have a referential integrity constraint on the values of department name that's going to show up as a foreign key. The next thing to know about the create table department statement is that we have employee number present in the department table as a foreign key, but there is no constraint on values of employee number. The reason we don't have a constraint on values of employee number is because we want to avoid an infinite circle of references between the department and the employee table. When we are creating the table employee, we will have a few constraints. We're going to have two constraints, the usual one-to-many constraint on department name as a foreign key, indicating which department an employee belongs to. And the second constraint is going to be uh, the value of employee number that is present in the same table employee as the column boss number. The values of boss number should correspond to the values of employee number that are already present as a primary key. When one is inserting data into the employee table, please note that the inserts are ordered such that employees that are bosses are inserted first into the table before inserting uh, their subordinates. This is used to avoid referential integrity problems. Consider two tables that have both a one-to-one -one and a one-to-many relationship. Those two tables are department and employee as seen in the following diagram. As the following diagram illustrates, the two entities, department and employee, have a one-to-many relationship and a one-to-one -one relationship. The one-to-many relationship indicates that a department has many employees, or really the composition of a department. The one-to-one -one relationship indicates which employee is the boss of which department. The one-to-many relationship is created by the foreign key department name being present in the employee table. The one-to-one -one relationship is created by employee number being present in the department table. Corresponding to these entities and these attributes, we can see that in table form, the data looks as follows. If I select star from the department table and get the contents of the department table out that are present in the text database, we will see employee number present in the department table. If I run the query select star from EMP, I will find department name present in the employee table. And so there are two relationships that are present between department and employee, the one-to-many relationship and the one-to-one -one relationship. The one-to-many relationship indicates the composition of the department, and a query joining these two tables on that relationship looks like the following. Select star from department, join employee on department dot department name. So the primary key of department is joined to employee dot department name, the foreign key that is present in the employee table. When I run this query, I get the join versions of these two tables. I get the name of every employee and the departments that they belong in. This allows me to actually write a query that allows me to count the number of people in each department. If I wanted to actually count the number of e people in each department, the query would be something like this. 
select department name and count a star so I'm counting the number of rows from department join employee on department dot department name is equal to employee dot department name now let's say in addition to the department name I wanted the department phone as well and so I have the department name department phone and uh, account star from department join employee on department dot department name is equal to employee dot department name group by department dot department name this query will give me the department name its phone number and the number of people in each department as follows I notice an error in this query column department name of the field list is ambiguous so I need to say department dot department name so this query gives me the following result I see the department name its phone number and the number of people in each department this is the result I'll get when I have these two tables join on the one-to-many relationship since there are many people in each department I'm counting the number of people that are present in each department join the two tables on the one-to-one -one relationship gives you information about who is the head of each department Joining the two tables in the one-to-one -one relationship is very similar to joining the two tables on the one-to-many relationship. You still have to equate the primary key with the foreign key. So the query to do that will be select star from department join employee on department or employee dot employee number is equal to department dot employee number. And so when this query is executed, it gives you the name of the department and the name of the head of each department. The name of the head of each department in this case for accounting is Todd, for management is Alice, marketing is Ned, personnel is Sophie, and purchasing is Briar. This is what I get when I join the two tables on the one-to-one -one relationship. If I'm now interested in, I can count the number of people that are the head of each department and the result of that is going to be one in fact it should be one because one cannot have more than one person be the head of each department so if I say department dot department name The count should give me one because each department has only one person as its head. Obviously, this count uh, is not something that we'd really be interested in. Uh, we might be interested to count the number of people that belong in a department, but if you're counting the number of people that are the head of a department, we know the answer that, that, it, that it is going to be one. So this query really uh, is kind of pointless, but this is again to illustrate to y'all that there's only one person that is the head of each of these departments um, And so something maybe that might be more relevant would be their salaries the name of the department uh, and uh, 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 The name of the head of the department and their salary for instance and so I could do select department dot department name employee the name of the employee uh, and if I want to know the attributes, I can just expand and take a look at the columns of the employee table. So I have play employee F name uh, and the employee salary from the department paper table joined to the employee table on employee dot employee number is equal to department dot employee number. And so if I do this, I'd get the name of the department, the name of the head of the department, and the respective salaries. This is 
joining the two tables on the one-to-one -one relationship.